Hey everyone, my name is Grace Wong. I am a visual development artist. Today we're going to have a bit of fun testing out the Wacom Cintiq 16 tablet and its features. And since it's Chinese New Year and the Year of the Tiger, I want to create a tiger theme painting for today. So let's get started. To give a little backstory, Chinese New Year or Spring Festival is a 15-day celebration event that's been around for roughly 3,500 years. It brings forth luck and prosperity of the new year and therefore firecrackers, fireworks, red clothing, and decorations are often included during the festive holiday. Growing up in Hong Kong, I always knew I wanted to get into the art field, but I didn't know what I wanted to do specifically until I saw the very first Wacom tablet in high school when I came to Vancouver. It was the Wacom Bamboo, I think, and I was like, yo, there's such thing as digital paintings. I really want to try using to paint digital work. And so I convinced my family to buy me a Wacom Intuos. And as you can see here, it's really worn. I used it for about seven to eight years and it was definitely time to find a replacement. So I feel super fortunate that Wacom has given me this opportunity and platform to talk about my journey as an artist and how I discover my passion and how that pretty much stems from my past immigrating from Hong Kong to Vancouver. But yeah, for this drawing, I really want to capture my past experience and childhood memories of Chinese New Year. It's about family gathering, a lot of food, a lot of flowers, lanterns, and of course, gift giving, aka pocket money. I'm also adding a lot of traditional Chinese symbols of luck, the lotus flower, lanterns, the color red, and of course, the tigers. This year, 2022 represents the water tiger. In Chinese culture, the tiger is one of the 12 zodiac signs represented in the Chinese calendar. And because of their known ferocity and beauty, this cultural symbol is widely recorded throughout Chinese history, legends, folklores, poems, paintings, and many more. In the old days, tiger images were painted on the walls of homes and temples to keep away evil spirits. They are also carved on tombs and monuments to guarantee safe passage to those who make way to the afterlife. In the beginning of last year, I started having this random phase of adding tigers into my paintings. And I had quite a few ideas to do it for Chinese New Year, but it wasn't the year of the tiger yet. So I was like, okay, well, let's just do a few practice runs. And so I made a few tiger paintings. And finally, it's 2022. It's really exciting to draw them again. I draw a lot of inspiration from cinematography, landscape photography, and drone shots of nature. Watching different movie genres and studying their visuals really inspired me a lot to experiment with different moods, lighting, and color choices through the stories I want to tell in my background paintings. Throughout my career in the animation industry, which has only been about eight months, I've been experimenting more with different techniques, paint strokes, but the fundamentals are always there. Working from big to smaller shapes, a lot of values, a lot of colors. Sometimes I can get super tunnel vision and it's hard to take a step back when I get the excitement to rush and finish a painting. And so I would often force myself to stop and look at the painting the next day just to give my brain some time off. Overall, I really enjoy using the Cintiq 16 tablet. The size is much smaller than the 24 and 32 inches, but despite all that, I think the size really works well for my workflow. I tried working with larger tablets before and I found myself using more movements with my arm and I got tired pretty quickly. Whereas with the 16, I put more focus on my wrist and the coverage area is a lot easier for me to see everything on the screen at once. After some color correction and cleanups of the lotus leaves, the tigers, here and there, the drawing is finally complete! Yay! But yeah, it was super fun experimenting with the Cintiq. It's super straightforward to use. I'm sure little Diva here is also giving her approval. Setting up was also very straightforward as well. You just have to have an HDMI port for the display, the USB port for the pen, and a power brick for the outlet. The tablet comes with three extra pen tips, which can be found here on the side where the pen holder is located. It also comes with an attached stand, which gives a maximum of 19 degrees tilt, or you can buy a Cintiq 16 stand for an additional cost. 
I work with the Cintiq every single day for work and personal projects, and sometimes I like to look at my drawing at eye level, sometimes I like to look at them flat on the table, and so this definitely comes in handy whenever I feel like switching angles. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope most of you have made it to the end of the video. I hope you've learned something valuable today about Chinese culture and its traditional celebration. Have a great rest of your day and happy Chinese New Year!